The old Croatian town of Nin has always attracted people with its beaches and cultural heritage. However, Nin discovers its new charm, nature. Salty muddy areas provide exceptional natural value and are becoming an increasingly important identity of Nin. Thanks to the interweaving of rich history, natural values and tourism, the small royal town of Nin exudes a special charm. It is therefore not surprising that it has become a European destination of excellence. Nin is located almost at the end of Ravni Kotari, a flat strip of land in the hinterland of Zada. It is the flattest part of the Adriatic coast in Croatia. In early spring, the meadows are colored by spring flowers. Daffodils are blooming profusely. After winter sleep, nature wakes up. However, the gaze upwards is attracted by the mighty velobit. It is still under snow because winter is long on the mountain. It seems strange that there are real swamps under the rocky mountain. Several phenomena of the Adriatic coast come together here. Migration of birds to the north, from their African wintering grounds, is underway. The sky is therefore full of migratory birds in flight. The red-throated loon stopped in Nin to rest. It uses the rich and shallow sea and marsh to replenish its energy reserves, before continuing to the breeding grounds in northern Europe. In Nin, nature and a huge cultural heritage come together. Nin is an old Croatian royal city. History springs from every step, so Nin has always attracted lovers of cultural heritage. The remains of ancient houses are still visible today, where the Church of the Holy Cross still stands from the 9th century. Today it is known as the smallest cathedral in the world. Bishop Grur of Nin has ruled in Nin since the beginning of the 10th century. His bronze statue stands proudly in the center of the town. Seven Croatian kings were crowned in Nin. The recognizable symbol of this ancient city, the Church of St. Nicholas is located in a field right next to Nin. Around the old buildings, sand and mud rain. The sea around Nin is warm and shallow and forms a large lagoon next to Queen's Beach. The sea enters deep into the lagoon through the branching canals. It is a real salty wetland under the influence of sea changes. The plants grow in extreme conditions here. Halophytes grow by the sea and tolerate high concentrations of salt. The plants here must contend with high salinity and direct the sun after the sea recedes at low tide. The glasswort is in the first row by the sea. Its stems are very fleshy, which is an adaptation for water storage. There are also reeds, sea purslane, golden samphire and other plants, along with the glasswort. Just a little further away from the influence of the sea, the rushes dominate. These plants resemble grasses but are much tougher and sharper. Crabs and other animals also find their home in that swamp. Dragonflies lay their eggs in a loving embrace, and the larvae will live at the bottom of the lagoon. In this rich marshy soup, wading birds find plenty of food. 
the little egret is patiently hunting. After eating, the bird also needs a bath. A mud gradually turns into sand under the carpet of vegetation. It is actually already part of the queen's beach. In the spring, that carpet becomes colorful from the flowers of plants and insects that land on them. Some unique plant species are growing there, such as sedges, sea spurges and others. These are not easy living conditions, on bare sand. That doesn't bother the lizard. Sand is a good medium for hunting and hiding insects. The lizard doesn't even mind the hot sand. As spring progresses, the days get longer and warmer. A wooden path passes through the marshy lagoon to Queen's Beach. Tourists already come to Nin in the spring for its natural beauty. The director of the tourist board, Maria Dejanovic, is the main actor in the transformation of Nin. Her tireless work in recent years has opened new perspectives on this ancient town. In 2010, Nin je prvenstveno destinacija koja privlači u ljetnom razdoblju sa prirodnim pješanim plažama i kulturne turiste zbog kulturne baštine. Međutim, cilj nam je upravo produžiti turističku sezonu, odnosno u jesenskom i proljetnom dijelu razvijati programe koji su povezani sa ljubiteljima prirode, sa samim brdvočarima, sa dugoročna vizija Ninske lagune, je da, da ona bude jedan zaštićeni, e, zaštićeno područje, ali e, zaštićeno od vlastitih stanovnika koji je na neki način koji brinu i, i čuvaju je od bilo kakvog zagađenja i u biti da je očuvamo što više u ovom izvornom obliku kakva je ona sada. Muddy and sandy habitats are extremely rare in Croatia and most of them are in the area of Zadar County. These freshwater or brackish habitats fare common from Parg to Lake Vrana, often called mudflats. Unlike most of the Croatian coast, which is mostly rocky and steep, it is a strip of flysh and flat terrain. Fertile land and suitable terrain attracted man, so Ravni Kotari is the granary of Dalmatia. Northwestern Dalmatia is an internationally important area for birds. In addition, this area is the only real wintering ground of waders in Croatia, and it is also important for wintering wetland and seabirds. This is why northwestern Dalmatia is included in Croatia's European Ecological Network Natura 2000. These areas are very endangered. Due to ignorance, they are considered worthless land, so they are often filled with construction waste. Also, they turn into beaches or urban areas. The salt pan is of special importance in Nin, which adjoins the very center of the old town. It is the oldest economic activity in Nin. However, with modern machinery, salt production is as it was back in Roman times. History is proudly witnessed by the remains of the Roman gate, a stone partition for the passage of seawater inside the salt pan. The salt flat has retained most of its natural shallow lagoon characteristics and is now a replacement wetland habitat. This can be clearly seen by the carpet of glasswort plants in shallow water, but also by many species of waterfowl. In spring, the salt flat is teeming with birds flying north. Many ducks, herons and other waterfowl come here. Birds are not afraid of the workers and residents of Nin, so the salt pan is an important station for refreshment and rest. 
Right in the center of the town, there is a real wealth of birds, often greater than in the middle of the wilderness. Among them is the black wing stilt, today a natural symbol of Nin. Saltpan in Nin is its most important breeding ground in Croatia. Her long pink legs and elegant white body with black wings are noticeable from afar. They peck small insects, shrimps, shells, snails, tadpoles, small fish, and the occasional seed. It chooses islands or sandbars for nesting and builds the nest on the ground. In general, more than 200 species of birds have been recorded in the Nin Lagoon. The Kentish plover also nests on the Nin salt pans. This species builds the nest on the ground. Few animal organisms survive in the very salty water of the salt pan, and one of them is the Mediterranean banded killifish. which in the absence of other species comes in large numbers. The coast in neighboring Sabunike rises to high sandstone cliffs. This crumbly, but still firm enough ground is an ideal nesting place for bee-eaters. With their strong beaks, they drill meter-long canals. At the end of that channel is an extension with a nest. They are social birds, and several dozen pairs nest in a colony. Every couple has a favorite place to rest, usually a vine branch. However, since there is little space, it results in occasional spats. These birds are excellent flyers and feed on flying insects. As their name suggests, they hunt bees but are only part of a wide repertoire. Butterflies, flies, wasps, even hornets are also on the menu. Photographer Ivan Stulich is getting ready to photograph birds. Ivan regularly visits the colony and monitors the situation. Ima ih dosta, s obzirom da je vitar, tu se gnjezde već par godina, ima jedno pet ili šest godina da ih ja pratim. I većinom kolonija se povećava iz godine u godinu, u startu ih je bilo nekakvih 50, sad ih je možda 150 komada. Pristupačne su dosta na dobro mjesto. Ja sam sam došao, pokušat ću napraviti par slika. Sad je trenutno faza kada bi u osnovi mužnjaci već trebali lagano vabi ženke sa ulovljenim kukcima. Pa nadam se da se upare i da ćemo uspjeti snimiti nešto od toga. A nakon toga će onda krenuti kopanje rupa i polaganje jaja nakon toga svega. To take the desired photos of beekeepers, Ivan has to disguise himself well and wait motionless for the birds to get used to him. He enters the shelter and waits there for the birds to return. Nin is often exposed to strong winds. Storms are frequent, but the mistral is the most frequent wind in the summer months. When the wind gets stronger and the swimmers run away from the beaches, kite surfers come to take their place. The wind is the main prerequisite for this adrenaline sport. It is mostly driven along the Shadriats beach, right next to the old town, where many kite surfers come to chase the wind and perform real acrobatics.
While tourists spend most of their time on the beaches, local resident Marin Stulich prefers the wilderness. Ninja u onom pravcu vrsi onome. Malo dalje ljudi se kupaju i ima 500 metara od nas. I došli smo evo praktički u divljinu i to je taj spoj malog čarobnjaštva ove divljine što nam još tu malo ostalo. Znači to je cirka opsega 5 km kvadratnih i tu što se tiče flore i faune nevjerovatno koliko je to raznolikost. Ovo ti je tipični čagalj ovdje, vidiš? Gotovo kao mačka, ali nije mačka, vidiš krug. Prvi moj dodir s divljine, znači kad sam imao 10 godina, bježao sam znači u te gajeve male. Onda bi znao pobjeć u nin, stekao naviku znači fotografirat i kampirat u polju. Uvijek se pitaju gdje sam ja to sve snimio, te životinje i, i niko nije vjerovao da sam u stvari to snimio praktički njima iza kuće. E. A neki put se desi stvarno rapsodija, eksplozija živih bića kraj tebe na svega udaljenosti pola metra. Čovjek bi se začudio što sve prođe tu kad si dobro zakamufliran. Ali? The diversity of habitats also contributes to the river Ricina. It is a source of fresh water and the habitat for freshwater organisms. Lush meadows along the banks host of flowers and butterflies. Horses also come to graze there. The river flows into the sea in the town itself, bringing sand and silt from which the Nin Lagoon was created. Unfortunately, that the river flooded Nin in 2017 and caused great damage. Nature showed its power, and the regulated riverbed could not withstand the sudden rush of water. The old city center suffered, especially the bridges. With the arrival of the summer heat, the bathing season begins. Tourists flock to the sandy beaches. Nin is surrounded by 8 km of sandy beaches, the longest of which is Queen's Beach, which is 3 km long. Jadriot's Beach is also popular, an approximately 800 m long sand bank. Sandy beaches and shallow sea are ideal for families with small children. To swim in the deep, you have to go far out to sea. In addition to swimming, people also come to the marsh on the Queen's Beach. It contains medicinal black mud used for health purposes from Roman times until today. It is a dark grey to black silt, which has settled, and is still settling in the lagoon today. It is formed from both sea and land sediment. It doesn't look the prettiest, and it doesn't smell appealing either. However, tourists cannot resist it. The medicinal properties of mud promote circulation and metabolism, strengthen the immune system, have an anti-inflammatory effect, and reduce pain. In addition, this mud promotes detoxification and the breakdown of cellulite, restoring freshness and elasticity to the skin. In the evening, bathers retreat from the beach and fill the streets of Nin. In the summer, the historic town becomes like a beehive with the bustle of tourists of different languages. A walk along the sights and enjoying a delicious dinner are everyday things in summer. More and more tourists are becoming environmentally conscious. They tour the beauties of Nin by bike or on foot. Fortunately for them, although it has a lot to offer, 
everything is close, and getting around the whole town doesn't take much effort. This is how NIN successfully connects culture, nature and sustainable development. After months of evaporation in the salt pan, it is time to harvest the salt. In the early morning, the workers start their work while the summer heat is not yet at its peak. Some of them collect a fine crystal on the surface, a flower of salt. It is original sea salt of the highest quality. The rest of the workers collect ordinary table salt. The technological process of producing salt from seawater in the Nin salt pan occurs through four stages of evaporation and crystallization, where the condensed seawater, brine, turns from a liquid to a solid state. Fresh salt is collected in heaps, where it is left for a certain time to be filtered. Finally, the dry salt is transported to the warehouse. The lagoon begins to turn yellow at the end of summer. Brown color dominates the landscape again. The tourists have left the beaches, and instead of the murmur of bathers, the sounds of the birds can be heard again. The autumn migration of birds begins, this time in a journey to the south. Nin again becomes an important resting place for migratory birds. Flocks of ducks cover the water bodies around the city. Kingfishers are now gathering in Nin's lagoon. This bird stalks the fish from a height, and it dives headlong. As autumn progresses, more and more birds land on the shallow marsh. The Dunlans are actively looking for prey, constantly pacing. The Dunlans are part of the waders group, which includes the sandpipers, the plovers and other species. They walk easily in the mud with their long legs and look for buried food with their long beak. At the beginning of October is International Birdwatching Day. On this occasion, fans of feathered flyers come to Nin. Armed with binoculars, those interested go through the salt pan and look for birds. They are led by ornithologists, bird experts. Birdwatching tourism, or in Hrvatsko, it was tourism for the birds je grana zelenog turizma koja se vrlo snažno razvija na cijelom svijetu i prenače u tome zapadna Evropa koja ima brojnih ljubitelja prirode i ptice. Ako se pogledamo u Hrvatsku, ona u tim razmjerima još nema jako razvijen birdwatching turizam, makar ima vrlo dobre predispozicije za to. Posebno je naglasak na sjeverozapadnu Dalmaciju koja je vrlo značajno stanište za ptice, pogotovo za ptice močvarice koje ovdje obitavaju i tijekom nježenja, ali i tijekom preleta. Zbog toga smatram da ovo područje je vrlo dobro za razvijenje ovog oblika turizma, zato što uz klasičnu turističku ponudu, znači što imamo i more i plaže, možemo nuditi još te prirodne sadržaje koje bi obogačivali ovu turističku ponudu i također privluke nove oblike turista i također u predsezoni, kako sam već naglasio. Nin is the leader of the new valuation of nature as heritage and important for the economy. Birdwatching and nature tourism is becoming an increasingly important resource, extending the season to the year. Nin is an example of sustainable development, and green development continues. This small town continues to blend natural and cultural heritage, providing the best of both worlds. Flamingos, rare guests of the Adriatic coast, also arrived in the lagoon. These elegant birds will be guests of Nin for a long time, enjoying this ancient royal city's hospitality and preserved habitat in the embrace of nature. <laughs>